<laughs> well, it is Halloween after all. Uh, as you can see, it is pitch black. The rain has just stopped, but you can see, look, there's this little, it's weird, isn't it? This sort of slight, almost like snow. It's weird, but it can't be snow because it's not cold enough, but it is fairly cold. Um, and I'm not used to this. So uh, you'll see down there, Kevin's here. He's got his trailer sorting, sorting out now. And uh, the boats are ready to go on the mooring still. But um, we're going to uh, just get trailers on vans and sit and wait for the light to come. It shouldn't be too long now. Um, yeah, and then we'll go and get the boats haul out. We've got the trailer on the back. Hope you can see that. All looks good. Lock came off easily enough. I'm so glad I didn't forget the keys. I had the wrong keys. And then there's Kevin going now. And uh, we're off to get the trailers down here. And then we'll go and get the boats. So as this thing wheel bearings seem to be fine good amount of air in those tires so i think we're good to go um just check these rollers i mean there's a lot of it's been underwater so we're good to go we need to go and get the boats <laughs> we're going in the uh in kev's boat which is awesome i'll stay a bit drier than a than I do uh, on the tadpole. I always get a bit of a wet bum on tadpole. So you can see the water has receded. They always get the water out of the lake at this time of year. Um, and I think from previous videos, it goes right out and you see all the little sort of shale banks appearing across here. Um, and yeah, it, it, any, any less than this. I mean, fortunately the lugger will go in very shallow but you know not much more than this you'd be in trouble the other thing is you get a lot of stones you know just from the storms and the the tide you get loads of stones on here as well but uh we're here we're in good time and actually it'd be very pleasant hauling out in this lovely weather because um yeah it's going to be <laughs> hopefully famous last words but it should be pretty easy to get hauled out in this weather. The dinghy's ready. I have one of these batteries in the camper van. I think they're li lithium ferrous phosphate. So they're like lithium iron, but just a newer, better version. Much better in the cold. Um, and they're slightly different voltage, but their charging capacity is much better and the re you know you can you can get them right down to zero and stuff they're really good and this brand is really good as well so um well so far so good so there we go we're all ready to go anyway let's go and get some boats Woo! only got the crocs forgot on my life jacket and uh oh, let's grab out. and we're uh yeah, it's quite cold today, so I don't want to be in the water too long. No. Right, let's go. Oh, yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? There's something quite low, nice. No? Oh, low, yeah. It is low. Haha, -ha, there we go, full power. Let's give her a good old run for her money. <laughs> Just we tried to miss all the moorings here. Kev dropped me off, he's on his boat. The wind is building, so, um, I mean, I'm okay with this boat, you know. Um, gonna give Kev a hand, but he's not had his boat long. And he's certainly not hauled it out. He's only hauled it out. He's not hauled it out. So uh, I think we had a little practice one week. But of course, I've been hauling mine. I've been hauling my boat out, Lulu out, uh, all season. So I'm quite well versed. So we're just going to get her on the trailer and get her out. And then we're going to go back for the strop. I just checked the strop and it's not got my nail wire on it, actually. And the reason for that is, I think it really, those galvanized shackles 
proper seize up. So I'm just gonna, I forgot to bring my plier set with me, otherwise I would have, uh, yeah, I haven't got them. Yeah, I would have, um, no, just double checking. I'd have done it now on my knife with the shackle uh, sort of driver on it, but not to be. One last little sad look at the club from here. Last time we'll have this angle for a little while. Interestingly, we were just talking, there's a lot of boats on the shore. They've been quite strict about the boats this season and I, 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 I'm, I for one, agree with it really. Um, you know, they're a real hazard if you leave them on the shoreline because in the winter, um, the, you know, the, there can be, you know, the lake can fill right up, come right down. The weather can be horrendous. Here we are. Wind's picked up just a tickle a lot. You can see the, uh, the waves, but not enough for us to be sort of worried. Normally you'd come in um, on the, the end of the mooring here, of the jetty here, but well, to most of you, yes, you should do that because if you overshoot it accidentally or you're falling or something happens, the boat, if we come in on the left, the boat could end up hitting the trailer or the bottom, so. Oh, maybe there's just enough current to balance that out. So look, we're just gonna ferry glide in and then we'll stop. And then, to be honest with you, we'll just head straight for the jetty. There we go. That'll do us. That'll do us. Let's just hope we don't uh, fall in. Oh, we're leaving. Oh, that's the beauty of, uh, of dinghies, is you can very easily manhandle them. There we go. And there she is. Right, I'm gonna lead her around and get her on the trailer now. times I've been hauling out it's been a nightmare so the back just woo, like this yeah before but now what I do I literally I should get that on I got a feeling mine had a shackle on the front I can't remember and I took it off so and then look you can see how much closer these are together can I just use that It's important that that's not twisted in the Yeah. Someone said as long as they're connected here, yeah. they're really strong. You know, they're a lot stronger than you they look. So that's it. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. Job done? Well, nearly. And then that Kev, look, that's sort of 
To be honest gracious. with you, this is all tangled up because until I came down last week to do the mirror, I didn't actually know how these work. Right, we're going to get the bung out. We're going to get all the masks down and get her ready to go. It started raining. One jib. So, she's ready to rock and roll. Now, I've got nothing in the boat apart from this mast that's all tied down. And guys have said, don't need a top. You know, this big blue top, because it's such a pain to put on. Do a video. Yeah, this, there is, you go. this is a release mechanism. Yeah. So you, you turn that to you. You get a, a gap, so you front and back. Yeah, and that's basically it. And then you and it can go either way through, or I guess uh, it's no, obvious which back, way back it goes front. through. Back yeah. To front, yeah, back to front. That's sound advice from the lorry driver. <laughs> <laughs> thought I'd uh, thought I'd take advantage of having a lorry driver here because these straps confuse me. They're so simple, but I think if you don't use them every day, you kind of forget. Well, I, I do anyway. Three men in a little boat. <laughs> the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Because yeah. these you could these tubes aren't pumped up as well as it no. could be, are they? No. And it's doing all right. We're about to find out anyway. Oops. Right. Three men in a boat. We are not stealing anything honest. Right, so that can go back in there. God, the shackle's perfect, actually. So I don't know, it's, just, it's that chain, it's mud. So that's that no, you've got hold of it. So that, that should be. is that the strop? Because that's, like, that's what's tangled, isn't it, look? I'm sure your strop's a bit thinner than mine. Mm, same but one. You, but you specced it, didn't you, the same? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a nice proper stainless steel. Yeah, there's not even no wear on it at all. I've used uh, like a galvanized one. Yeah, that's, ah, that's, that's it. And then leave the shackle or? No, take the shackle. Take the shackle, yeah. Are you you're having this mooring next year? Yeah. Or, or yeah, or are you moving it or? No. or well, oh, hang on. Ooh. We good to go? Ready? No. All right. Yeah. We, uh, right, we go to the next one. If we sink, we've got a boy each, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. I've not got my life jacket today, I've forgotten it. Yeah. I've seen you swimming video. We don't. <laughs> yeah. So, in between coming off the mooring, getting the boat ready, even Kev coming off and coming by, my strop and pickup boy have gone. We tried to work out how the heck that has happened. So we found the strop, it was sunk. So somehow the mooring, the pickup boy must have just punctured or something's happened to the mooring boy. Um, it might still be under here and sunk with the chain, we don't know.
Good little boat, that. Whoop. That's a good boat, isn't it? Yeah. I guess. Put it down there, yeah. Yeah, so we. this is where Kev's leaving his boat for the winter. I'm taking mine back to Fiddler's Ferry. Um, but yeah, we're going to do this now, and then we're going to go get Lulu. We can take her home. It's Halloween. Next weekend, I think. <clears throat> Really nice campsite, isn't it? They don't close till the end of November, so that's for, or, or I think mid, yeah, first week of November actually. And it's right next to the lake here. Really lovely. Maybe next season we'll have a we'll have a night here. Bear Mocking D came off a trailer, so yeah, quite interesting. I thought I, I, this robot has been here for the last three weeks now, and. Uh, yeah, it almost kind of acknowledges that this part of the road was so bad. So yeah, good. Glad it's done. Really glad it's done. But uh, you know, mm, wish they'd done it a bit earlier. Other than that caravan, not a lot has changed, has it? And there she is, the other way round, I guess. But we had a very uneventful trip here, which was brilliant. We'll give the van a check over when we get home, just see how she's fared. But very uneventful trip and these were great. So I'm gonna get number plate off, get those straps off, and then go home. It's the end of the season. It's quite sad, isn't it? But uh, plenty more to come. So we'll be, so we'll be, doing quite a lot this winter again um, I might have a little break this winter though because I did find some of the days were so grim it was unbelievable but we do need to do a whole host of stuff to Lulu what I'll do probably my next video or yeah next few videos I'll post uh, what I'm gonna do so um, yeah so all the little projects that I want to sort of get done uh, and then we'll try, hopefully that will motivate us to do them. So, yeah, <sighs> sad, isn't it? But there we go.